Good evening, Dubai. Welcome to DXB Today. Here's what's coming up on today's show. All right, starting off with five Dubai landmarks that you have just got to check out if you haven't already done so. I had the wonderful time of spending some time with some crocodiles at the latest Dubai Crocodile Park. And Nimi caught up with Jada Pinkett Smith ahead of her event right here in Dubai. What a day! What a Lane week. Redman in the studio. <laughs> it's a very nice studio, actually, more relaxed and comfortable. Well, we, we <laughs> like the couches. We're very happy to have you with us, and we're Thank geared you. up for the weekend. I know. What's yeah. going on, guys? Who's dined at the Atlantis so far? I've oh. been there. Yeah, I went for to... For restaurant week? Yeah, no, not for restaurant week, no. I've been there before for Ling Ling. have been to the Atlantis, yes, but indeed. now restaurant they've got week. incredible deals going on, right? You can dine for as little as 150 dirhams. What, what, you, did you go recently, Katie? Yeah, Atlantis the Royal, yeah. I actually just went to Nobu there. So, they, oh, no, that was at the old Atlantis, or the original Atlantis, Atlantis the Royals. But across both of them, they've got this restaurant week. And it sort of gives you a chance to actually go there because sometimes it's not obtainable for a lot of people. They've got some stellar deals. So Nobu, for instance, I believe, has a three-course meal for 350 dirhams. I mean, that's great for Nobu, right? Yeah. And, and there's a couple of other options where you also have a couple of courses for 150 dirhams, three restaurants there. But you got to look it up. All the details are online. So that's something. And obviously, it's the weekend. So it's like adventuring now. That weather is finally dropping. So it's time to get out and about, explore the other Emirates as well. Are you a hiker, Lane Redman? I am a hiker, yes. I literally just got back from climbing the tallest mountain in Wales, uh, Snowdon, Mount Snowdon. You so, are yeah. so random. Yeah, yeah. You are so unpredictable. <laughs> so, You're like, yeah. I just finished writing a book. I just, <laughs> like, what are you doing? So yeah, that, that was in a bit of an adventure. I haven't done a lot of hiking here. Uh, I've done a bit, bits and bobs, but not much. Um, and I've done a lot of stuff in Devon as well. In the UK as in well. The UK, yeah. I mean, it, like I say, because the weather's getting bigger and better, there's so many groups out there, so many like hiking communities to get involved. My friends want me to hike. I like to refer to it as walking. <laughs> um, walking, I'm fine with. Like, do you want to go out for a hike? I'm like, can we walk? Yeah, if you get some good shoes, it's okay. But you've got to have really good shoes that like cushion your feet and, and take all of the impact because that is that makes the big difference Fine. if you're going to enjoy so it or not. Hiking, guys. I like going hiking in Hatta, but also Mushroof Park now has a new hiking trail. And I always go there for Aventura Park. They're amazing. That whole area is stunning. And I feel like no one visits enough. And also, if I can just do a shout out to <laughs> Ras Al Khaima that has just been received international recognition as a sustainable destination. Is yeah. that what well, is it? Yes. And you know, you have to. Rex you have to check off a few, um, well, what is there? A few yeah, things yeah. off the uh, items off the list. Oh, right, the, yeah. the energy consumption yeah. and how they operate, and they've, yeah. I'm just yeah big up Rack City, big up Rack City, man. <laughs> yeah. I have a good time every time I go there, actually. I've never heard the sentence big up Rack City before. <laughs> well, <laughs> moving on, because we have our guest co host who's so knowledgeable on this subject, and she's amazing. Let's find out who it is. Hi, I'm Isabella, and I'm the founder and editor of Near and Far magazine, and I'm looking forward to being here on DXB today to chat all things sustainable travel. Isabella is going to join us soon, but before that, whether you're new to Dubai or whether you're like me and still love exploring the city, here are five places you need to check out right here in Dubai. Five tourism destinations in Dubai. Dubai is truly a holiday maker's favorite, with 8.5 million of them visiting the Emirate in the first half of the year. Whether you're a tourist or an expat, make sure you put these attractions in your bucket list of must-visit destinations in the city. Dubai Frame Right in the heart of the Emirates stands the iconic Dubai Frame. This 150-meter tall architectural masterpiece offers a unique perspective of the city's past and present. Visitors can take in breathtaking panoramic views of the old and new Dubai, bridging history and modernity in a single glance. Al Qudra Lake Al Qudra Lake is a peaceful haven right in the middle of the desert, perfect for those who want to escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Here you can watch the sky come alive with birds of all kinds. You can also go for a bike ride, have a relaxing picnic, and be mesmerized by the most stunning sunsets you've ever seen. Burj Al Arab. Our next stop is the Burj Al Arab, a world-famous hotel known for its luxury. Often referred to as a seven-star hotel, it's where people from all over the world come to experience pure extravagance. If you're looking for a stay that's nothing short of extraordinary, this is where you'll find it. Burj Khalifa. 
The world's tallest building needs no introduction. Burj Khalifa is definitely a tourist favorite, featuring in millions of selfies posted on social media. Elevators inside this 830 meter tall tower whisk you away to the observation decks on the 124th and 148th floors, where you'll witness a view like no other. Dubai Miracle Garden. And finally, a burst of colors and fragrances awaits at the Dubai Miracle Garden, the world's largest natural flower garden. With millions of vibrant, colorful flowers and breathtaking designs, this garden is a true marvel. The garden transforms into a surreal wonderland where creativity knows no bounds. If you're a flower enthusiast, you're in for a treat. These are only five of Dubai's best and biggest tourist attractions. Make sure you tick them all off your bucket list. And if you've been to all of them, pat yourself on the back and keep exploring. Now, our next guest has been defined by her editorial insight and deep passion for exploring the far corners of the globe. And with a decade of experience in digital travel, she is the founder and editor of the Middle East's fastest growing independent luxury travel publication. Please welcome Isabella Sullivan. Thank you. Good to what, see you, Isabella. What an introduction. <laughs> I was going to say, that was an introduction. I know. I, know. I, I know. I've met you before and I was still impressed. <laughs> it was my first time meeting you, so I had to do it properly. I've never been able to describe myself so eloquently. Like, <laughs> if write you, this down for me. If you need that in future, just take Lane with you everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hyped up. Like, We're so, so happy to have like, you. Oh We're Welcome. so happy to have you back on the show. So excited to be back. Yeah, yes. it's been before summer. So yes. last time we were chatting, obviously, summer travel. So. Yeah, well, good now we're all sustainable, so yes. let's get right to it. Yes. What are some of your favorite sustainable destinations in the UAE? We want to hear examples that are affordable and exciting. Of course, okay. of course. So, I mean, you know, historically travel as an industry has not really been seen as the most sustainable, but things are changing mm -hmm. and, you know, this is incredible. It's very exciting. A recent study actually showed that 70% or 77% of UAE travelers want to travel more sustainably. And as you said earlier, Ras Al Khaimah has just been given Earth Checkers Silver certification, and it's the first in the Middle East, first destination in the Middle East to have been given that. So yeah, but a, no, but it's a great thing because um, one of my friends who's who's do, doing the sustainable restaurant in DIFC called Boca. Have you been there before? Yes, Omar's yeah. place. So Omar, yes. yeah. So he's a fantastic guy. Yeah. And he he gave me some tips and tricks and gave me a book by Juliet Kinsman. Uh, on eco travel. Yes, and stuff. she is the sustainability editor for Colin Ash Traveller. Oh. And she is fantastic. So she's really great at showing people kind of to look beyond greenwashing, which is a big thing. You know, obviously, mm. people will say they're a sustainable hotel or they're a sustainable destination, but they just have. You, they don't have plastic bottles or, you know, you've really got to look deeper. Yeah. And, um, you know, sustainability isn't just whether it has single use plastic or whether you know they use solar panels it's also kind of embedding in the community and how it builds and helps the community we've I, spoken a lot yeah. about like you know these buzzwords and you hear it all the time but let's yeah. talk about the actual travel aspect then so you mentioned yes. the the 77 percent how yeah. do people then try how can we travel more sustainably in the uae I think, we do? I think, you know, it's, it's harder in the UAE as it would be in the US or Europe. Um, we don't have as many trains. We don't have that ability to kind of to get you off without using a car. But, you know, stay local. There are some amazing places, Ras Al Khaimah, you know, there are obviously, you know, tented kind of villa resorts. Yep. And there is obviously Hatta hiking. You can go and do glamping. Ras Al Khaimah obviously has some incredible hotels coming up. One of them, which is very exciting, is Anantara Mina Al Arab, mm. which is basically, that. yeah, it's going to be like the Maldives in Ras Al Khaimah. Amazing. So well it's stunning. That. It's overwater villas, but you know, they've really gone deep into sustainability. So it's built using sustainable wood, recycled plastic. They're kind of, they're caring for their environment. They've got, you know, kind of marine activations that they're doing. So th it hasn't opened yet, but mm. this is going to be the Maldives is stunning and obviously they do their bit but you know you get to the Maldives that's a big carbon footprint you're then taking a seaplane you're taking a speedboat don't go to the Maldives as much as it's amazing go go to Ras Al Khaimah yeah because yeah, it's going to be that's, I mean, the, that's, the, that's their new marketing thing. yes <laughs> don't go to the Maldives go to Ras Al Khaimah it's basically the same <laughs> now what if we are going to a hotel is there something that we can do I, I can only think of one thing off the top of my head to, to be more sustainable because I, I think of the towels automatically yeah. now everywhere know, you go they've got the which is a big deal like washing all those towels as opposed for to sure. I mean yep. it's hard because obviously when you're in a hotel you want the hotel experience mm. so 
people do want the fresh towels and you want to do all of that but I think be be mindful do you you know do you need your bedding changed every day do you need a fresh towel every single time you have a shower or a bath probably not I, I will do it once every day and a half every two days when I'm at a hotel it's it, you know everyone's about kind of <laughs> <laughs> No, like, not, really not as often know. as like, that at home. How many days do people regularly like change? That their is thoughts? the question. Let's no, not no, go into yeah, that. Yeah, no, don't go into that. <laughs> um, but you know, things like buffets. The food waste is just. Mm. I'm sure, you know, every hotel you've been to which has a breakfast buffet, you look around in horror. Yep. Everyone loading their plates. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to have it. Um, but if you don't have it, what happens to the buffet? It gets checked out anyway, right? It gets right? checked out anyways, right. but they'll make less if people are eating less, yeah. right? So if everyone yeah. kind of set a precedent, they wouldn't make as much. But it's hard, but you, there are little things that you can do along the way. Um, not taking that really long flight. I know we're talking about sustainable domestic travel. Um, so there are, you know, there are amazing things to do here. Okay, we're going to be delving into this the entire episode, guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a lot more questions for you as well. Yes. <laughs> um, meanwhile, let's find out who our performer is tonight on the show. Hey guys, we are YFY and we're so excited to perform for you tonight. Cannot wait to see those guys perform a little bit later. Right, stick around because we're going to be chatting to the man behind a company that is bringing some incredible experiences for you right here in the UAE. Don't go anywhere.